next one is genetic markers so genetic markers are those genes which are used to mark an individual or group of population those which we use to mark individual uh, we can maybe it's a kind of identification but in this particular concept of genetic markers we are identifying groups of population so every group of population have some specific set of genes which are highly distributed in that particular group say for example you take blood groups some population groups show some predominance of one particular part, uh, uh, blood group so such kind of things are used as are considered as genetic markers and in order to be considered as genetic marker the distribution of the alleles or genes should be greater than one percent of the total population only then we can say that uh, nature has selected those genes and established uh, in that population groups so the, you can see some linkage with uh, genetic polymorphism you get my point so here what are genetic markers which are used to mark or identify a group of population so definitely presence of two or more genetically determined traits in population groups the rarest of which cannot be maintained by mutation alone so those of them uh, which nature has selected has established and therefore different population groups have some different genotypic variations and only except blood groups many other uh, genetic markers which were given in the syllabus do not show a fixed pattern it it like uh, unlike blood groups they are skewed uh, distributed in different manners even the uh, there is no specific pattern and i don't know why they have included this all uh, in your syllabus so that is only for epidemiological studies and other uh, ecological studies and also studying about uh, comparative genomics pathology and various other things it's a research based uh, aspect which is hardly of any use because there is no specific pattern for the distribution of these alleles which were given in your syllabus you get my point nevertheless because they are given we are studying them so genetic markers two type one for individual which we are not considering because individual variations are many other thing is with respect to a population group so within the with any any population under consideration generally the whole world population human beings as one population the frequency of distribution of those alleles should be greater than then only we can consider as a genetic marker. for such kind of genetic markers the location or position of gene on chromosome is also identified they know that these are prevalent so they studied more and the location of these genes on the chromosomes have also been identified or mapped yes so please write genetic markers are those genes which are identified with a population group in other words genes which are used to mark a group of individuals or a population group are known as genetic markers selecting the right optional subject for the upsc exam can be a daunting task especially if you're aiming to succeed on your first attempt but what if there's a crucial element that could make all the difference that element is continuous answer writing practice at vijeta ias academy our anthropology optional foundation program offers a comprehensive approach not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises. Each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by N.P. Kishore sir, ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills. This approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks, such as Akanksha Singh, 311 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Chaudhary Shipra, Vijay Kumar, 307 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Ajink Kumar, who cracked UPSC in his first attempt, and many more. With daily feedback and structured practice, you will be well prepared to succeed in the UPSC examination. With our focused feedback and structured practice, you'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the CSE. Don't wait any longer. Enroll in Vijeta IS Academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the UPSC exam.